What is going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome in this video, the Red Cat Machete. This thing is available right now, so if you wanna get one of these, it comes in a 4S version and a 6S version. I'll put links down in the description below for you. But yeah, the Machete 4S 1.6 scale brushless electronic monster truck. So go over to the 6S version here. We can see the Machete 6S 1.6 scale brushless electronic monster truck. This one comes in at $499.99 for the 6S and then $399.99 for the 4S. Let me know what you guys think about these. It's on par when it comes to the shredder that this is, machetes are replacing the shredder. So these are a ground up design from Red Cat. So let me know what you guys think about these and which one would you go for? And also, if by chance you had a 6S system lying around, would you just opt for the 4S version? Say, hey, I'm gonna put my 6S system in there and call it a day have fun that way, save a couple bucks. And I had a system sitting around, so it's all good. So let me know what you guys think about that one. Um, you know, which one would you go for if you had that little system lying around? So here we go, looking at the 4S version of it. You know, we got skid plates all over it, protecting that body, giving you a little bit more longevity of that body when it flips over. Um, yeah, it looks real good. Now, it's got the saddle, so you can put two batteries in there, but in the 4S version, they only give you one connection, which is an XT90 plug. So if by chance, you know, you already have a 4S LiPo, uh, hopefully if it had a <laughs> XT90 plug on it, you'd be good to go. Put it on one of, one of these and send it on its way. Here's my personal opinion, what I would do. You're gonna get one, you're like, hey, I never had a 4S system. I don't have that battery connection. What, what should I do? So you're gonna kind of go down a certain weird path maybe because you're gonna like, oh, I need to get either you need an adapter for it or you know, you opt for two 2S LiPos and maybe you take this to a friend or a local hobby shop or someone that can solder and solder up another XT90 plug. That would be my personal opinion to do because it's weird to have only one plug when you offer two sides that you can place batteries on it. I don't know why they did that. And honestly, Red Cat, it'd be cool. Just go ahead and add that other XT90 plug on there and call it a day. And then you can always give a loop back if by chance someone has just a single 4S LiPo and you plop it on there. Anyway, not to leave or give anybody, get anybody confused, but just kind of be aware that it only comes with one plug. Uh, unless they change it down the road, whatever, or if by chance they changed it in production and this was just something, a pre-production picture. So let me know what you guys think. But like I said, these are available now. So if you want to order one, cool. And I uh, definitely would like to hear your feedback on them, especially if you get one of these, you're like, and I got one of these things, things, you know, it takes punishment. It's awesome. You know, if there's any issues that people start to kind of notice, all in all, I like the way this thing looks. I definitely like to get one of these. And uh, I do have a 6S system lying around. So I might opt for the 4S, save a little bit of money. Uh, I do know the chassis is stronger on the 6S than it is on the 4S. It's got a 775 aluminum chassis. I'm not really super into bashing too much. So I don't know if it's even worth it to opt for the 6S version of it. It's a $100 difference, not really a huge difference. And uh, if anything, I could always just sell the electronics out of it, recoup my money, and then keep the, I already have another 6S system. So I don't know. You guys let me know in regards to that one. I might make a little bit more if I just sold it as a 6S system and pulling electronics out of it. I don't know. But uh, anyways, when it comes to the rest of this vehicle, it looks good. It's definitely sitting low, just like the Shredder did. And as far as just the paint scheme, it looks awesome. I like the anodized aluminum that we see here in red that nice chassis brace running across it. And let's hop over to the 6S, kind of showing that one with its black body with its red highlights and everything in there. Still following a nice flow theme of with the anodized red. So it doesn't look awkward with, oh, they changed it like blue and whatever, and it doesn't follow the, the red in there. I like that they at least kept red in the paint job. So it looks good with the anodized red on the chassis. So speaking of the chassis too, um, Inside of it, we got two XT90 plugs, our 150 amp, our 2100 kV brushless motor. I don't know 
uh, if it what servo I didn't I didn't really see it eh, I might have skipped it or this says high torque steering servo so I don't know what the kilogram is on here it might be shown elsewhere but if by chance I come across it or someone else comes across it and like yeah the 4S, 4S version comes with a 25 kilogram servo and the other one comes you know whatever it might be but uh, leave a comment below and if I find anything I'll post it up and let you guys know but all in all both of them they look well they look similar so how like I said the chassis the electronics are going to be different but wheel compounds and everything else looks to be the same yeah it's got a wheelie bar on this thing because I'm sure this thing's going to pull some wheelies on the 6s model i don't know about on the 4s version of it so i haven't seen a running video too much of it to see if it does want to lift the front wheels off the ground but i definitely like both these and just my personal experience on the shredder i love that thing that thing was great i made quite a few videos with it running it through water hydroplaning it on 4s jumping at the skate park and i really had a great experience with it i know that not everybody has the same experience with anything that you know people buy or whatever but my experience with the shutter was definitely awesome when I had it on 4S. Now, I did change it to 6S because I wanted a little bit more power in there. And that's when I had problems with it. So when I reverted back to a 4S setup, it was all good. And it was all smiles then. Uh, I, I believe, too, that the shredder had like a 1300 kV brushless motor and all that. Now, if we look even on here, this thing is using some kind of compound gear, Mod 1 gears. So... Normally, we would see this is showing the center drive shaft, the center shaft, and it shows this extra gear on there. So any of you engineers or you know a little bit more about why they would do this, let me know, you know, as far as that one. You know, it's like a reduction. It might help a little bit more with torque, um, whatever it may be, as far as why they added this other gear in there to compound it that way. So it could just be to help more with low end and everything else. Um, and I could be just talking out my butt. I don't know as far as to why it did this way. But uh, each of the, the front, center, and rear diffs are, uh, a, you can take them apart and you can put thicker greases in there. So definitely a good thing. And we can see how that's kind of laid out also here. It's looking pretty beefy. So there, and uh, when I was talking to Red Cat, they were like, yeah, this thing's definitely beefier. We've definitely beefed up everything on it than the previous version. And again, it's a ground up design. So I'd be curious if anything, if someone has a shredder, uh, I sold mine, but any, if there's anything that's in the shredder compared to the machete that was still in this design also. I doubt it, but it'd be kind of interesting if they did use something and like, oh yeah, it still uses this part of it. Because I don't see anything that jumps out at me that they're still using. It's got 17 millimeter hex. Well, that's awesome because... 17 millimeter gives you a lot of different wheel options. And it shows right here, man, this thing's sending it. Yeah, I'd be, it'd be cool to have just a 6S straight out the box and send it on its way. But yeah, it's got sway bars also. Again, aluminum shocks. I mean, it's pretty well packed as far as with goods on here. And there you go with the skid plates. You know, the other, the shredder didn't have anything like that. It definitely needed them to help protect the body. And just give it a little bit more life and they definitely did all that so I, i'm definitely stoked i would like to know because on the shredder the wing on that thing was a beast uh it was and it was so durable i mean i hit that i've seen videos of me landing on the wing and it just twists and it just comes back no problems it doesn't break off or anything I'm like man that this wing is i don't know i've put a lot of wd-40 on my shredder so i don't know if that just helped allow things to flex a little bit more but yeah definitely excited for this one so you guys let me know what you think about this vehicle but i can just tell you my personal opinion that this thing's sweet i'm liking it a lot and i really want to get one of them so i don't know which one i should get so leave a comment below like hey man if you already got a 6s system you know why don't you just go ahead and get that one and then put your 6S system. It won't be able to compare it. Say, hey, we'll do a speed run with the 4S, but it still won't be a comparison to the 6S system because I don't have both of them out the box to show you that, hey, this one, this is how fast the 6S system would go. But, you know, leave a comment below, below and let me know what you guys think, uh, which one you'd opt for.
not a big difference between the two. So it would be kind of cool to get the 6S version. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, or click that like. Yeah, and leave a comment. And I definitely appreciate you guys as always. And uh, stay tuned for more because maybe you'll see one of these on the channel here soon that might grab one of them. But yeah, leave those comments. Let me know. Until next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.